everybody, it's Robin the Dixie Pixie. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for coming by and checking out my video. I hope you'll enjoy it and I hope you'll um, click the subscribe button if you haven't already and please comment and rate my videos. I do appreciate it so much. So, this is going to be a little mini haul. I went by um, Walgreens. They had a huge clearance on some makeup. So I got a couple of things that I really, really love. Um, the first thing that I got was the clean clean um, powders, press powders. It's the clean oil control press powders from CoverGirl. I just love these. The one's in the little blue, and this one is in 510, which is the ivory. Let me see that. That's focusing. But um, I love this for under my eyes. I love, love, love. And it's the oil control. I love, love it. Love the way, love the way it smells. And the other formula, too, that has that little noxema smell. Love that, too. So this was... I want to say that it's usually like nine dollars, eight something, and it was on clearance for like four dollars and fifty cents. So I grabbed that, and I also got. I love. I used to use this all the time, and the price just went crazy. It's the CoverGirl and Olay and Olive Olay Simply Ageless Foundation, and this is in two hundred five, which is. I think it's just ivory, and it's it's two by five, but um, it's gone up to fifteen ninety nine for a container of it, and it was on sale for six dollars. So I mean, when I saw that price, I was like, oh, I'm gonna get me some more of that. But it's the kind that has the little, and I've already swiped it. It's got the olive olay moisturizer kind of in with the um, CoverGirl makeup, and it kind of twists on one side, and then on the other side, how's that open? It's got a little pop-up. It's got the little sponge applicator. I mean, sometimes I use the sponge, but most of the time I just use my makeup brush. Um, so I'm so excited because I got it for $6 and it's $15.99. I mean, $10, $10 off. That's a really good deal. So grab me some of that. I also grabbed a Easy Liner by Jordana, and this is in Purple Fusion. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. I don't think that's focusing. Anyway, um, and I'll explain why I got this in just a little bit. But grabbed that. That was $1.99. And then Got To Be had some new products out. So I grabbed, it's Got To Be Rise and Shine Body and Gloss Glistening Full, Glistening Full Blow Dry Cream. Oh, that's a mouthful. So anyway, that's what it looks like. And you put this in your hair before you start to style it. And it says that... Now you can rise and shine like the starlet you are. I <laughs> love that. But um, it says uh, dime size for short hair, quarter size for long hair. Um, squeeze that size amount into your hands and distribute evenly through damp hair, then blow dry. No need to dry for long. This creamy charmer accelerates drying time. So look, anytime I can cut down on blow dry my hair, the amount of time that it takes, which isn't as long because I did a little trim, but, um, yeah, so I'm hoping that's going to be really good. And then it gives you body and shine, too. So I'm hoping that's going to work. Then they also had a hairspray to go with it. And it's the body and glow also, the rise and shine. And it's the luminous lift hairspray. And it came with a little set of these little scrunchy things, which I'm going to give to my daughter. Ah, three little scrunchies free. And um, this was $6, the... The little cream, the blow dryer cream, and the hairspray was eight dollars. Might have been eight dollars and some change or something like that. But it's a good size bottle, and I love got to be. Um, I usually use the glued hairspray. I haven't used it in a while because I've been using the Tresemme, but um, I really love that one. And so I'm hoping this one. And I kind of tried it out just a little bit before. Oh, and I. It smells so good. Oh my goodness. It's got a musky smell to it. Not a bad musky, but like a essential oils musk smell. Um, and I love musk scents in colognes and per even in perfumes that I wear. Um, so I think I'm going to like that. But So that was just a little mini haul. Just got those couple of things. But um, So back to the purple eyeliner. Um, I had gotten a purple eyeliner the other day at the dollar store. It was a Maybelline smoked coal eyeliner and it was in violet 
got it at the dollar store it had like a gold top on it I had to oh I had a gold on this end to cover up the little thing that's what it was but um I went and saw a movie yesterday <laughs> I went and saw The Other Woman with Cameron Diaz and Leslie Mann and Kate Upton, and it was a great movie. Love, love, love that movie. It was so much fun. Going to the movies is my thing. Oh my gosh, I love going to the movies. That's like, I don't, I don't get my nails done. I do my nails myself. I cut and color and style my hair myself. I don't get facials or anything like that, but I love to go to the movies and get me a box of popcorn and a drink and enjoy my movie. I mean, I'll go to the movies by myself, but went and saw The Other Woman, and loved oh my gosh it was so funny it wasn't overly crude it had a couple little things in it it's pg-13 um did have a ton of bad language it had some bad language but not a super lot of bad language um and so funny so so funny and the actors were it was a good storyline it was really funny it was just a fun little movie to go to I, i'll probably see it again it was really that good but um the makeup in the movie I'm a little obsessed with and that's probably why I'll go see it again because I want to see this makeup again the clothes were so pretty um oh goodness I can't think of her name it's the lady that always did the styling for Sex in the City and for the Sex in the City movies she did the styling for the um movie so the clothes are so so pretty but the makeup was just so pretty like Cameron Diaz's makeup of course, Kate Epton is young and beautiful and you don't have, need anything. But Cameron Diaz's makeup was so pretty. Her eye makeup, but Leslie Mann's eye makeup, and she's got red hair, and my red roots are coming in. I have try to keep it as blonde as possible. And <laughs> the older I get, the grayer I get, and it's harder to match my red up. I'm naturally a redhead, y'all. Um, but she's a redhead, too, and her red is very similar to my red. And she had this purple eyeliner that she kind of feathered out into an eyeshadow and I kind of tried to do it today I don't know if you can see it in this lighting not nearly as good as hers was in the movie but that's why I got the purple liner because I thought I'm going to try to do that eye look with that purple liner so anyway so go see the other woman I think you'll enjoy it and um, I'm going to try out these new got to be products and let you know what I think about them I'm um, hoping that'll cut down on the dry hair drying time and thank y'all so much for stopping by I hope you got a couple of tips to help you have fun save money and look fabulous y'all have a great day and come back and see me now again you hear